Hello. So uh, we are uh, we are looking about we are actually uh, going through the kinds of Chitra Kavyas in Sanskrit. So today's uh, kind of Chitra Kavya is Kutam. So Kuta, we'll see what kind of Kuta or what is mean what is meant by Kuta or what is a what is a, which kind of shloka is uh, regarded as Kuta. So uh, these kutas apparently they make no sense. If you try and translate these uh, the these verses word to word, so the word to word translations in uh, other than Sanskrit languages make no sense when you try to translate the kuta shloka. Uh, they uh, they contain some words having puns, just like we yesterday we saw there were some. Um, some words that contained puns, puns that is shlesha. Uh, here, most of the words contain the puns. Most of the words either contain the puns shlesha or uh, they can be divided into two. So, uh, into two, um, uh, two meaningful units. Uh, so, you may know the sandhi rules in Sanskrit. You may know uh, how we join two words or two syllables in Sanskrit using the sandhi rules. Here, although sandhi is not there, the spaces between the words make uh, the difference. Okay, so difference between uh, normal shloka and the uh, and the kuta shloka. We'll see uh, how it goes. So, what is a kuta? Kuta is a shloka that apparently uh, it looks like it is making no sense. It doesn't have any meaning. But when you try to uh, come, uh, when you try to separate the words that are in the in that shloka, those words give you different meaning, and then it makes sense, and then it has some other meaning, or then uh, it is it may it uh, becomes meaningful. Suddenly, it becomes meaningful. Okay, uh, so we'll see. So first kuta is keshavam patitam drishtva pandavaha. Harsha nirbharaha rudanti kauravaha sarve haha keshava keshava. If you if you try to uh, decode the meaning, decode the literal meaning of this shloka, it will be keshavam patitam drishtva. Keshava, who is keshava? Krishna. Krishna is keshava. So keshavam patitam drishtva. Patitam is uh, fallen. But rather than fallen, patitam is more used for dead in this shloka. Drishtva is having seen, after seeing. So after seeing uh, the, death, dead, uh, the death of Krishna, after seeing that the Krishna is dead, Pandavaha Harsha Nirbharaha. Pandavas, Pandavas became Harsha Nirbhara. That means they became really very happy okay harsha nirbharaha rudanti kauravaha sarve and the kaurava started crying and how alas ha ha keshava keshava so ha ha is alas keshava oh keshava you are not here you are gone so in that way uh, the kaurava started crying but the pandavas became happy uh, it doesn't make any sense if you see this shloka from Mahabharata point of view. It doesn't make any sense because Krishna was always in the uh, Pandavas party and Kauravas were always wishing that Krishna uh, should go away from the Kauravas. Uh, sorry, Krishna should, uh, should uh, leave Pandavas and Krishna should not help Pandavas. So uh, this was the wish of Kauravas. So how can a Pandava become happy and how can Kaurava start crying after looking that the Keshava is falling? Uh, could you please make your annotations off? Uh, I'm seeing the annotations on my screen. I don't know. Rahul, will you please help? I don't know who is annotating, but... Is it gone now? Yeah, it is now. So... How can this happen? Anyone? Uh, you might know this kuta. You might have heard or you might have come across this kuta before. 
but i'd like to know from those who uh, who are new uh, or who who do not know this shloka before anyone how can this happen how can krishna's death or how can how can krishna's fall make pandava happy and make uh, kauravas cry any idea yes gitanjali ji hello gitanjali ji please unmute yourself okay uh, so does uh, do the words here have um, synonyms like kauravas are kauravas also words used for a word used for crows is it mm -hmm. uh kind of yes okay so that is one thing i could figure out that kaurav is also a word used for crows and pandavas is it a word also used for uh, uh for frogs is it no or something else or something yeah. else okay yes okay that's all kaurav is the only thing i could figure out okay okay anyone else anyone else want to give a thought with with this hint given by gitanjali ji maybe okay we'll see do, do you wish to separate uh, keshavam as separate ke shavam yes 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 it is the way oh, would the yes. would that make the yes let's see ah. let's see how it goes so if you separate this word keshavam keshavam if you separate if you give a space between ke and shava it will be keshavam patitam drishtva pandavaha harsha nirbharah rudanti kauravaha sarve ha ha keshava keshava so ke means in water kam is a is a word that is used for water so ke is in water it is saptami those who know sanskrit for them it is saptami of kam so k in water shavam dead body k shavam patitam patitam drushtva pandavaha pandavaha means fishes fish pandavaha harsha nirbharaha pandavaha harsha nirbharaha so the fish in the pond fish in the water were happy after seeing the dead body fallen in a in the water kauravaha is foxes it's not a uh, uh, kauravaha although although it is used for crows uh, here it means fox so kauravaha sarve rudanti so the foxes started crying alas ha ha keshava keshava so for those who are uh, who survive on land for them the dead body fallen in the water is is worrisome because they cannot reach to that body and they cannot eat that meat so for the foxes for the kauravas it is it is uh, um it is a sad news that the dead body that the dead uh, I, that uh, that dead uh, entity is fallen in the water but the fishes or the those who are uh, those who are in living in water those animals fe started feeling happy because they got the uh, food they got their food so if you break this word keshava only one word can make this change only one word one space between two words can make this change huge change keshavam patitam drishtva keshavam patitam drishtva so after after seeing the uh, after seeing the dead body filled uh, fallen in the water pandavaha harsha nirbharah the fishes or the water bodies or the animals residing in water started feeling happiness they became happy rudanti kauravaha sarve and all the foxes started crying ha ha keshava keshava this ha ha is exact translation of alas so ha ha so alas keshava keshava so the dead body is fallen in the water so this is how it goes this keshava keshava what does mean ha ha keshava keshava so keshava keshava is oh the the body is fallen in the water the body is keshava fallen in the water so you see this is 
yeah k shava k shava yeah exactly the same you break the word in k and shava okay clear so come is another word for water is it yes yes come is another word for water okay thank you now we have the Madam, same question uh -huh. yes usually the sanskrit names you know <clears throat> like like keshavam means you know like kesha something mm -hmm. like that so how that how does pandavaha become a meaning of fishes is there uh, any any you know sort of declamation which says how pandavaha it, means fishes like pandavaha it, means pandus putraha pandava right kauravaha is the kurukulam so kaurava so how does pandava come to be meaning fishes how do you see every that? time every time you do not find this etymologies many a times uh, the words are used traditionally and then etymologies may not help you to get the meaning so kaurava and pandava uh, for mahabharata entities it is correct pandus putras and kurus putras or kurus uh, kurus dynasty and pandus yes, uh rest but for the for fishes and foxes it is it might happen that these words are used traditionally so many a times the etymologies may not help okay thank you any any question okay we'll go to the next one this is again uh, yes Uh, what is the meaning of puns pun pun means uh, shlesha deriving two two meanings from one word thank you ma'am now second one suvarnasya 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 cha janaki preshita tava ramena suvarnasya cha mudrika so what do you uh, understand from this verse So, no, madam, adjust your computer screen a bit. It is not seen. It, it, no, no, computer screen has to go up. No, no, I have, is, I have, I have put it in this no, way because I don't okay, want to show you. This is good. Okay. Okay. So, suvarnasya, suvarnasya, suvarnasya. Just know that preshita tava ramena suvarnasya. Just mudrika. what do you understand from this verse what is your first impression after listening to this shloka uh, janaki of oh. gold golden janaki is it no no first. no no suvarnasya mudrika golden ring was sent golden ring ramena janaki it. janaki is the sambodhanam janaki is sambodhanam vocative vocative सो ओ जानकी हे जानकी रामेण तव सुवर्णस्य 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 च मुद्रिका प्रेषिता दिस इज द कंस्ट्रू दिस इज द अन्वय सो ऑन द सरफेस इट मींस दैट ऑफ गोल्ड ऑफ गोल्ड एंड ऑफ गोल्ड राम फोर टाइम्स ऑफ गोल्ड ऑफ गोल्ड ऑफ गोल्ड एंड ऑफ गोल्ड यस <laughs> uh and of gold one more in the next sentence and then ram uh, by ram has been sent to you a ring which is like four times of gold <laughs> yes but is it do they uh, do the poet really need to use this for four times ha bhai golden 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 ring yeah so, so in each time it should mean something else that's what i'm do you doing. anyone of you remember this kind of stotra anyone of you <coughs> that has the repetition of one word but that might uh, have some other meaning mm -hmm. mahishasura mardini stotra have you uh, have anyone of you come across this stotra i was thinking yeah. of that but yeah. i don't remember the particular verse in so there are yeah there is this uh, shrita rajani 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 karava kutrate so there is rajani 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 but every time mm -hmm. the word appears differently so one time it's rajani one time it's neeraja one one time it's neera one one time it's jani 
so it but when you listen to it it's shrita rajani 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 or ai sumana 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 sumano harakanti yute shrita rajani 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 kara vakta vrte sunayana vibhramara bhramara 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 bhramakanti yute jaya jaya he mahesha suramar dini ramya kapar dini shaila sute so there every time the meaning of a word is different so here as well every time the meaning of suvarna the word suvarna is different let's see so first or any one it is not like you have to maintain its um, uh, its con- uh, 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 the sequence you do not have to maintain the sequence here but one suvarna may mean suvarna so suvarna is glorious having an attractive texture and color suvarna so is good varna is a uh, texture color its glory then uh, other suvarna may mean having a beautiful syllables because you know in the ramayana ram sent uh, the the ring which had a uh, name of rama engrossed in it so that is suvarna so as per ramayana the ring had the name of rama embossed in it so that is suvarna here varna means uh the letter so suvarna so good letters auspicious letters so suvarnasya first suvarna says glorious having an uh, having an attractive texture and color second suvarnasya having beautiful syllables having beautiful varnas on it that is varnas of rama the name of rama other is suvarna the major of ornament in ancient times so you know today we uh, uh, measure gold in carats so here suvarna is an ancient measurement ancient measure of ornament so like for example gram or gram kilogram so weight of gold this is a weight of gold so suvarna so see it's about 175 grains not grams grains so it is equal to 175 grains so suvarna a, a measure of ornament in ancient times so suvarna so first was having a glorious uh texture and color second having beautiful syllables on it third one is a major of ornament so having that major so weighing that much weighing suvarna then fourth is obviously gold so if you translate this verse o janaki rama has sent a ring that has a charming color it possesses beautiful syllables called rama then it weighs about 16 marshals so it it's 175 grains that is 16 marshals and that is made of gold so suvarnasya 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 cha janaki preshita tava ramena ram has sent you this kind of ring preshita tava ramena suvarnasya cha mudrika this is what hanuman says to sita yes now this this shloka might not be a part of main ramayana this is an imaginary one this might be an imaginary one any poet has uh, taken this uh, shot from ramayana taken this uh, story from ramayana and has given this verse has constructed this verse on his own using his own intellect okay shall we proceed ahead is there any pun in the second line there is pun in the word varna no no second line no no prashita tava ramena swarna no 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 okay now the similar kind of verse similar kind of shloka uh, that we saw in the first one shankaram patitam drushtva पार्वती हर्ष निर्भरा रुरुदु पन्न गाहे हा हा शंकर शंकर नाव यू ऑलरेडी नो केशव पति दृष्टि एंड एंड ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ द वोकैबलरी सेम इन दिस वर्स ओनली रुरुदु इज द इज अ पास्ट टेन्स ऑफ रुदंती सो अगेन सेम द मीनिंग इज सेम क्राइंग पन्न ग मीन स्नेक्स सर्पंट नाव try and think what it could mean shankaram patitam drushtva parvati harsha nirbhara 
ऋरुदु पन्नगा सर्वे हा हा शंकर शंकर ओके सो फर्स्ट टेल मी व्हाट इट व्हाट व्हाट इज इट्स लिटरल मीनिंग व्हाट डू यू गेट फ्रॉम दिस वर्स व्हाट इट कुड बी लिटररी मीनिंग इज पार्वती बिकेम हैप्पी सींग शंकर वेर एज द स्नेक्स ऑल ऑफ द स्नेक्स uh said oh or alas <laughs> alas uh, shankara shankara and they cried yes so is it but possible is normal meaning normal meaning little mm-hmm. meaning but this is the meaning which you get from its uh from its uh this little translation So But can we divide it into words like sham and try, karam? Try. So sham, sham and karam. Sham plus karam for shankaram. But uh, then what could what is sham and what is karam? Karam Does would be like hand. Okay. And sham that is the difficult one. You have to help us. No, here uh, dividing the words doesn't. help it doesn't help okay it doesn't help you have to know the pun in uh, in word okay this is literal meaning i have written the literal meaning here okay forget about shankar parvati do you know the etymology of parvati from where does yeah. the word parvati come Daughter, daughter of parvata daughter of kailasa yes parvata. yes daughter of parvata yes parvata rajasya putri putri yes yes right so to whom uh, to whom can you use the same word parvati rather for than goddess a, for a river mm-hmm. for ganga uh, ganga okay no for a, for a, a human being for which kind of human being can you use the word somebody who lives in the mountains right very good you are there okay there is yogis uh no uh, uh it is the, someone who lives in the mountains shiva shiva lives in the mountain No, yes, Shiva lives in the yes, yes, but he he is not. I mean, the word Parvati is female. Yes, so Ashmita ji. So you want ji. another female? Yes, Ashmita ji. Yes. Parvati Ravi Nale ki putti is called as Parvati. Sorry, I couldn't get you. Hello. Ha ha. Please speak a loud, a bit loud. हिमालय that you can use this word parvati to a uh, to any lady who is residing who lives in the mountain who lives in the mountain the waterfalls yeah. waterfalls no we we need a human being because harsha nirbhara okay here we need a human being okay um so there is a there is a prajati there is a species of chandana there is a species of sandalwood called shankara in the mountains of himalayas so and it is a kavi samaya there is this kavi samaya that means uh, we'll we'll come to kavi samaya first we'll see the meaning of this shloka that the uh, seeing the fallen chandan tree seeing fallen sandalwood 
the uh, the the ladies or the um, the uh, adivas is the uh, the, the uh, species who live in the mountains the uh, that lady became happy because they like uh, to use chandan they like to use sandal sandalwood in their day to day life because it has a nice fragrance it is their cosmetics basically because they are living in the mountain so nothing is uh, available there but chandana but sandalwood so the sandalwood naturally falling down and seeing that the that lady became happy and the snakes now it is a it is a peculiar in sanskrit poetry that uh, it is imagined or it is believed that the snakes reside on sandalwood the snakes reside in the sandal tree sandalwood tree and the so their uh, their house is gone their house is fallen destroyed so they all the snakes falling. started crying and yes and therefore they became sad ha ha shankara shankara oh god the the shankara the, the best of best sandalwood is shankara so that is fallen the resident is gone okay we'll see you know uh, sanskrit has this uh, beautiful concept called kavi samaya kavi samaya means uh, in sanskrit literature specific imaginary or real nature natural concepts are are there and that the poets try to confine to uh, those natural phenomena or those imaginary you know set of beliefs for example uh this one that the all the snakes reside on chandan tree on the snake all the snakes reside on sandalwood so whenever you come across any sandalwood any uh, shloka any subhashita that describe chandana or sandalwood you will find some reference to a to the snake sarpa naga or anything uh you know there is this subhashita chandanam no sorry um that is that is a different one but there is one subhashita that says that chandana the sandalwood is so uh, it has a medicinal value it is so fragrant but it gives uh, it it gives um, uh, or it allows all the snakes to live on him and the, those snakes are not so beneficial to human being not so friendly to human being and that is the bad that is one bad point of chandana taru that is one bad point of sandalwood tree there is this subhashita so whenever you find those references you may find this kavi samayas this this is called as this concept is called as kavi samayas so there are some uh, equations there are some beliefs that are constant in sanskrit literature so like this so a cobra or a snake resides on a chandana taru a sandalwood or the moonlight is at its best in the sharad ritu this is a, again an yet another kavi samaya or uh, in the uh, in the rainy season all the um, all the lotuses become sad because the lotus uh, do not uh, uh, do not show its full glory in the rainy season so this is another kavi samaya then sandal trees are found in mon ma mountains only this is another kavi samaya so we have this concept called kavi samaya in sanskrit and in many lit in sanskrit literature classical literature you find these kind of references everywhere or uh, there is this famous kavi samaya that um, okay there is this bird called chakora and that chakora uh, survives on moonlight mm -hmm. so yeah so whenever purnima full moon day is there the chakora is the happiest uh, bird but whenever there is new moon day whenever they, whenever there is amavasya that bird is sad sad yeah. or there mm -hmm. is another bird uh, chataka chataka is a is the bird it is again an imaginary bird that chataka uh, survives or uh, it drinks water only once in the whole year and the, that chataka it it drinks the water directly from directly uh, coming from the clouds it doesn't touch the water that falls on the ground and then uh, then it is used to drink so it doesn't use that kind of water it needs so pure water that it just uh, takes that water from the cloud so it is again yet another kavi samaya that in the rainy season the chataka is the most happy or or chataka is the one who waits 
so badly for the clouds to come it waits so bad for the rainy season to come that even in marathi if any one of anyone among you uh, have marathi background then may know that we have a proverb we have a saying that chataka sarkhi vaat pahili so someone is waiting so badly that uh, uh, so badly as chataka waits for the clouds so we have this kavi samayas we have this imaginary or real natural phenomena yes srishti ji ma'am this can be true because it, uh, the sanskrit is very ancient language and that time the spe species of birds can exist we don't know. we cannot claim that and uh, those who have studied about it those who have made researches about it they say that it is an imaginary world so yes let's accept it it might it might be there it might not be there we cannot claim that for now for uh, right now from the researches which have been done it is an imaginary world so like phoenix mm -hmm. we never know that phoenix is there who uh, rises from ashes it, it is an imaginary world it is their cultural uh, uh, imaginations their cultural beliefs so we also have some cultural beliefs it might be there so this kind of kavi samaya so above mentioned in the time era because in the ancient period the in the that era bc sandalwood may grow in the mountain areas only that's why the kavi has made that statement might be we not we never know and right now the topic of our workshop is not to focus on these kavi samayas whether they are real whether they are artificial we have we are just going through the different kind of kinds of poetry so um, yeah rather than concentrating there let's come back to our uh, shankaram patitam drishtva so after this after sure uh, yes amit ji uh, this concept of the chataka bard thirsty for the red water is prevalent in our bengali language also number one and okay. number two but i had read somewhere that chataka is another word for chataka chataka as you may be aware is a sanskrit name for the sparrow yes house sparrow uh, and well i had read that of course this is a mythical belief that during the rainy season uh, this particular sparrow becomes so thirsty that it climbs uh, flies higher to drink the rain water get the yeah rain this is a sort of a mythical belief yes right and another thing i wanted to highlight was your what you can say kavi samaya about snakes uh, <coughs> residing in sandalwood trees um, there's a story initially parvati was a gauri fair skinned she was kali dark skinned and one day as she was embracing shankara she was jokingly tells her that we resemble okay. i am the sandalwood tree and you are the black snake around the sandalwood tree <laughs> and kali or parvati becomes very annoyed yeah he says okay i will go and perform a penance so that i become fair skin <laughs> and we are more or less on the same footing <laughs> the story go on there are uh, different verses yes Thanks. thank you thank you very much it was a uh, it it was really nice to talk to you so and i am really happy to know about this chatak uh, the mythology of chatak uh, existing in your language uh, yes gitanjali ji uh, so the I etymology of the words the here um, the culture is pan indian yes. it's uh, the similar concepts you will find exactly uh, you will find every uh, yes, yes. The concepts you will find north south east west maybe in different forms but exactly the same. yes yes indeed Yes, Gitanjali ji. So I was just looking at the etymology of the words, like just uh, thinking about it. So Shankara is the one who uh, makes uh, things peaceful. Shaman, the one who does the yes, shaman. Yes, right. And so, similarly, the sandalwood also makes things cooler, and it's yes, that's why it is used in. Different. Yes, it is used to uh, make your heat. Heat uh, go down, so that is why down. that is also called Shankara. That's why the two are yes, 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 synonyms. Right, yes, yes, right. But again, Shankara is also used for the word for a kind of species of sandalwood. So it might be more 
uh, effective to make your heat down so my right opinion. right understood and a woman residing in mountains is parvati yes someone was trying there is to a shloka about this chataka re re chataka yes. tavadhana manasa mitrakshanam shruyatam yes it is Ambo beautiful ambola baho vasanti gagane sarve pi naita drishya ha kechit kechit garjanti vritha kechit drishti bhi ardrayanti dharanim garjanti kechit vritha रे रे चातक सावधान मनसा मित्रक्षण श्रूयताम अंबोधा बहवो वसंती गगने गर्जंती केचि दृष्टि भी आर्द्रयंती धरणी गर्जंती केचि वृथा मा ब्रूहि दीनो वचह मा ब्रूहि दीनम वचह करेक्ट यस यस थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके नाउ those who are i'm sorry but those who are uh, husbands in our uh, our workshop they might they might like this shloka and let's see kante dhavaya me pada viti bhartra nivedita na taya dhavitau padau bhartu rajnyan langhita so here bhartra nivedita bhartru means a husband nivedita he asked bhartra nivedita kante so o uh, o wife kante me padau dhavaya please uh, 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 please do massage to my foot to my feet kante o wife please uh, please give massage nice massage to my feet so after the the husband told uh, his wife न तया धावित पाद वाइफ डिड नॉट गिव हिम द मसाज न तया धावित पाद भर्तृराज्ञा न लंघिता बट शी डिड नॉट डिओबे हिज डिओबे हर हजब हाउ कैन दिस हेपन हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल यस यस यू ओके सो हजबेंड आस्ट हिज वाइफ टू मसाज हिज फीट वाइफ डिड नॉट मसाज हिज फीट मसाज द फीट बट शी डिड नॉट डिसोबे हजबेंड ऑर्डर हाउ कैन दिस हैपन कांते धावय मे पादा विति भर्तरा निवेदिता न तया धावित उपाद भर्तुराज्ञा न लंघिता फर्स्ट लाइन कांते न धावया मे पाद पाद नो 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 it will it will uh, uh, it will hinder our chandas if this is anushtup chanda if you add an extra na it will be nine verse uh, nine letter nine syllable pad nine syllable charana kante ya na ta ya supposed to be together and then it gives some different meaning yes uh, explain explain further Yes, you're right. You're on right track. Ah, oh, but I don't know the meaning. I'm just okay. guessing that the spacing. Ah, nataya, nataya, it's just a bowing her head. She did yes. it. Yes, nataya, 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 and she did not disobey her husband mm. right uh, who 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 gave this answer really nice because i couldn't see your uh, you on my screen so yeah priyada madam yeah priyada ji yeah. and 
I just and, gave the clue. I didn't know the no. answer. <laughs> yeah, somebody else I, gave the answer. Yes. Who were who were there? I am Hari Priya. I gave. The okay. Answer. Namo Namaha Hari Priya Ji. Very good. Namaste. Very good. Namaste. Yeah. And now, as you know, so the pun was in Nataya, Na Taya, and Nataya. So Na Taya is not done by her, and Nataya means without space. Nataya it will mean she bowed down. So bowing down, she did. She completed this. Uh, the she fulfilled his wish. This is really uh, now. This one is really. easy one and you might you but the whole meaning is uh, it should be uh, it should be uh, it should come from you people tatena kathitam putra lekham likham amadnyaya na tena likhito lekha pituradnya na langita it is exactly the same tatena na tena yes right but what is the meaning of the whole shloka the the father said to the son mm -hmm. uh, you write something as per my order as per mm -hmm. my instruction he bent down his head and then uh, did what the father wanted him to do yes right so pitura adnya na langita pituhu adnya na langita so uh, anyone of you know this kind of verses more verses more shlokas mm -hmm. else i have one yet another i'll first type it on in the chat box इट्स कन्या मानीयता मादव कन्या मानीयता मादव धनुसज्जा विधीयताम कन्या मानीयताम आदव धनुसज्जा विधीयताम कन्या वा धनुराद नक्षत्र नक्षत्र कुशलो भवान नाउ दिस श्लोक इज रिगार्डेड टू रावण रावण सो कन्याम आनीयताम आदव so you know uh, there was sita swayamvara and in that swayamvara all the participants were supposed to join the shiva dhanusha supposed to make uh, the shiva, shiva dhanusha ready so uh, ravana said but sita was not there sita was not standing there and ravana was with his all pride and uh, he was really very uh, very confident that he will take the uh, he will take sita with him so he said kanya mani yata madav so i will do the needful but let's first bring your uh, bring your daughter kanya mani yata madav then he he got an answer dhanus sajja vidhi yata but you first you have to as shiva dhanush dhanus sajja vidhi yata dhanus sajja is dhanu sajja sajja means making it ready So Dhanush Sajja Vidhi Yatam make this Shiva Dhanush share ready first. Then uh, the uh, the Ravana replied Kanya Va Dhanu Radha Uva Nakshatra Kushalo Bhavan. Here the pun is on the word Nakshatra Kushalo Bhavan. Ravana was also very uh, very known and very learn learned um, Jyotishi, very learned. Uh, i don't know uh, it's english astrologer astrologer yeah yeah right he was a really learned astrologer so here uh, his astrology skills are uh, challenged in this verse so you know the ashes kanna and dhanu so he said first 
let kanya be there so first bring your daughter kanyam aniyatam adav then he he uh, he received an answer dhanu sajja vidhiyatam no the dhanu has to be done first dhanu has to be make made ready first kanya va dhanu radavva nakshatra kushalo bhavan so ravan asked whether kanya is uh, kanya comes first or dhanu comes first in the rashis then he received an answer nakshatra kushalo bhavan you only are the uh, the learned in astrology why do you ask us but here the pun involves na kshatra kushalo bhavan kshatra kushalo means one who is uh, one who is skilled in the kshatriya uh, 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 i mean the the art of uh, uh, the i'm sorry the art of um, making the dhanusha ready kshatra kushala means one who is really uh, warfare, skilled in warfare. warfare warfare yes one who is skilled in the warfare so na kshatra kushalo bhavan so he received an answer na kshatra kushalo bhavan but if you join nakshatra kushalo means you are a, a learned astrologer but if you cut the word na kshatra kushalo it means you are not uh, a, a skilled war uh, skilled in warfare you are not a skilled warrior na kshatra kushalo bhavan so this is again this is an intellectual this is really an intelligent verse in sanskrit i personally i love this kutum really very well and you know uh, the mahabharata involves a lot of kutas original sanhita of mahabharata original text of mahabharata contains a lot of kutum in that uh, any questions yeah uh, i just can you repeat this shloka once again slowly just yes. repeat uh, yes, i want yes. to write down okay i have uh, typed in the chat box uh, no no that is adam okay so uh, we cannot copy paste even last class we couldn't copy yeah. paste at least okay. i can I'll, yeah i'll repeat i'll repeat your pronunciation is quite clear yes okay kanya aniyatam kanya maniyata madau kanyam aniyatam adau dhanu sajja dhanu sajja dhanu sajja vidhiyatam kanyam aniyatam adau dhanu sajja vidhiyatam kanya va dhanu radau va kanya va dhanu radau va नक्षत्र कुशलो भवान्यालो भवान् अर्जुन इमे इमे बाणाहिखंडिन्दी मम गात्राणी माघमासे गवामिब could you please explain uh, for everyone uh, actually uh, what i have read that only i can tell you i mm. don't know much about this yes yes please uh, go these ahead. are arrows of arjuna arjunasya mm. ime banaha hmm? then uh, neme banaha shikhandina not of shikhandi mm. chindanti mama gatrani they are piercing my body parts just like mm. that of cows in magha month magha maase mm. gavami ba mm. this is uh, when bhishma was hit the yes. time uh, he has said this yeah. okay uh, so Actually, bish my face uh, hmm huh? bish my face ha uh, they are saying maghama segavami va like that they are splitting it hmm. uh, so hmm. what they are saying is it is a general belief that when a baby crab is born hmm. it bursts open the mother's uh, mother crab to yes. come out from the womb and the mother dies okay ha uh-huh. so I, i don't know how true this is i have read it that's all 
Yes. Maghamase Gavamiva. Maghama and uh, so you split it in Maghama Se Gavamiva. Se Gavamiva. Okay. Yes, I was expecting this one. Kam, kam Sanjaghana Krishnaha Ka Shitala Vahini Ganga Ke Dara Poshana Rataha Kam Balavantam Na Badhate Shitam Kam Sanjaghana Krishnaha Whom did Krishna kill? Kam Sanjaghana Krishnaha Ka Shitala Vahini Ganga which is the coldest river, which is the river, uh, which is the cold river, Shitalavahini Ganga, Ke Dara Poshana Rataha, who are, uh, who are, um, who are busy with feeding their uh, wives and, um, wives and uh, children, Kam Balavantam Na Badhate Shitam, who is the one, who is the mighty one, who do not uh, get affected by the cold. Kam balavantam na badhate shitam. Kam balavantam. Yes. And it means? Kam balam is a blanket. Blanket. So kam balavantam na badhate shitam. One who, those who have blankets, they are not affected by the Lava cold. Anin. And what are the uh, answers of others, other questions? Yes, Amit ji. I had read one kutam. Mm -hmm. Of course, Sanskrit pronunciation is horrible. It's okay. No problem. Anumana Hato Rama Sita Arsa Nirvara Rakhasa Sarva Rudanti Harama Harama. Ah. Okay. Okay. Hanumati Hatarame. Hanumati Hatarame. Uh, Rakshasa Harsha Nirbhara. Dara Pushana Tara. No, no, no. Hanumati Hatarame, Vanara oh, Harsha Nirbhara. No, it is not Rakshasa Harsha Nirbhara. It is Sita Harsha Nirbhara. Vanara. No, no, it is Rudanti. Vanara Harsha Nirbhara. Rudanti Rakshasa Sarve. Hara. Uh, ha ha. No. Uh, Aram. Ha ha. Haram. It's, it's something. Ha ha Rama Hato Hata Hato Hata. Oh, the three seat. Could you please explain it? Explain about it. <laughs> it actually deals with the destruction of the Ashoka Vatika, Vatika. Vatika. Ram. Yes. Anuman. Right. Because Aram also means a garden in Sanskrit. Yes. Right. And You're then right. <laughs> the Rakshasas are crying because their garden has been destroyed and the banaras are obviously happy because the enemy has been hurt yes absolutely but apparently it looks like uh, hanuman it is looks like that hanuman has managed to kill ram <laughs> yes and banaras are banaras are happy about it Maybe. but the the demons but, rakshasas are Bali uh, are still there yes Right. Yes, it is. It is again yet another nice kutum. So this is possible because of the flexibility of language, flexibility of Sanskrit language, because you can combine arama, ha and a. So uh, because of the Sunday rules, you can combine these two words. So ha rama, ha rama or uh, hanumati hata rame. So hata rame. Uh, due to the Sandhi rules, it is uh, validly, uh, you can validly uh, uh, draw two conclusions from uh, as a meaning, as meanings. So first, uh, Hanuman, Hanuman killed Rama or Hanuman uh, destroy, destroyed Ashoka Vatika. So this is because of the flexibility of language. Yes. Dishtiraha Kasya Putraha Ganga Makati Haustasya Shobha Kavasti Dharmasya Tvarita Gati. Yes. But this Yudhishthiraha Kasya Putraha, it, it is suitable to the yesterday's kind. Prahelika. Okay, I guess uh, we have, uh, some, uh, yeah, we are done with her. Uh, yes, Gitanjali ji, your, your hand is raised. 
Um, I was only explaining the uh, the the one that was given before the. Come, 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 yes, come. yes, yes, please, please. Yeah, we, so the we first, have left that. Yeah. So the first one is uh, Kansam Jaghan Krishna. So yes. Krishna has killed Kans and yes. then Ka Shita Vahini Ganga. So it becomes Kashi Kalavahini uh, Kala Ganga. So the Ganga is, uh, is flowing from the uh, uh, at the banks of Kashi. Kashi. And then the third one, uh, Kedara Porshana. So that becomes one word, Kedara Porshana Rataha. But what does it was? What does that uh, mean? So the people who take care of their family. So who are no. the ones who take care of the family? So no. Kedar Ocean Rata. So I think Kedar is the mountain dwellers who take care of, or is it the uh, or uh, Kedar? Uh, Kedar. I think Kedar means um, the uh, the farmers. No, Kedar. Kedar means the farm of grains. Okay. All right. So and then the last Kambal. one is already Kambalavanta. Kambalavanta. Kambal. People who have Kambal are. Yes, right. Okay. Uh, Rahul, I think we are done with today's session. Uh, any questions regarding the uh, last four sessions? You may ask any question. Sushmita ji. Actually, Hello. I have a question for you. Hello. Yes, yeah, Sushmita ji. First, we'll uh, 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 talk to Sushmita ji. Yeah. Miss Tanj Dan means Tanjidhan. Miss Lokas ka Tanjidhan Krishna. Mm hmm. Tanjidhan means Sanjaghana to kill, Jaghana to kill. Krishna, uh, Sushmita ji, we cannot hear you properly. There is noise in the background. Sanjaghana killed. Killed. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, someone was asking a question. Yes, I had a question. This is Amit Bukharji. Okay, yes, Amit ji. Uh, on previous Sunday, you spoke mm -hmm. of a particular Chitrakamba as uh, Samasya Purti. Hmm. And you had given examples where an apparently meaningless Charana was given as the mm -hmm. clue, and the poet had to complete that uh, Kabya in a meaningful way, right? Right. Now, is it the only form of Samasa Putti that was prevalent? Because I had read somewhere that sometimes an apparently conflicting situation was given. And the, the poet had to detail how could it happen, how did it happen, or why did it happen, something like that. Were there other forms or... Uh, uh, the, Samasa Purti was only of this type what you had uh, spoken of. Uh, it might, it, uh, that might be there, but whatever we have in written, see, uh, being an academic, academician, uh, we in most of the times rely on the written uh, literature, written or whatever is available in written format, we try to rely on that 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 material so these kinds of samasya purti we have and these kind of kinds of samasya purti are not in uh you know uh, reality based i think you are talking about the situations that are reality based or that might happen but no, uh, in the in the literature i can tell you, I can tell you the uh, yeah, little yeah. Book that i had read mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> a situation was told that a young girl with some ornaments on, had fallen asleep. Okay. And thieves had stolen all her ornaments except her nose pin, which had a pearl in it. Now, why that particular piece of ornament wasn't stolen by the thieves? That was the okay. samasa. That was the samasa. And okay. the poets had to write a verse explaining this is the reason. And okay. 
there so are there two might be some two answers which yes. of course okay was done okay okay yes there might be these kind of samasya purtis as well but as long as uh, we come across today's in today's avadhanam in today's literature uh, we know these kind of samasya purti that one pada is given and your kind of samasya purti can also accommodate in the ones one that i show because uh, i i have shown because uh, one the person who is asking the question person who is putting the samasya might construct the, that kind of words that Conveys the information given by, given by conveys the situation given like that. So uh, whatever situation it may be, uh, we are um, we the the this workshop is uh, particularly for the Sanskrit Chitra Kavya. So whatever is literature lit, uh, in form of literature, whatever is in Kavya form, we are accommodating that samasya. But again. i haven't seen any kind of samasya purti even in the live avadhanam shows even in the uh, online or any uh, uh, avadhanam shows in on many platforms i haven't come across these kind of samasya purti yet uh, you might i mean uh, again some regions uh, provide so southern regions northern regions uh, east and west many regions have their own kind of uh, literary literary plays so it might happen that in the northern uh, india or in the eastern india these kind of samasya purtis were there but uh, i haven't come across any kind of this situation was there any answer for the um, shloka which was mentioned before why did the thief did not steal the no stand yes samiji Uh, one poet wrote, or rather replied, that the girl had braided her hair in the form of a baby, and that baby was lying across her face. The thief mistook it for a snake and thought oh. the pearl to be the money on the snake's head. Okay. Again, <laughs> this way, yes, this has a kavi now, samaya. Money on the snake's head. This, this is, is a kavi samaya. This is not the end of it. This is not the end of it. Okay. Then the other poet says, the girl had chewed betel leaves. Her lips had become red. That red color reflected on the pearl, and it appeared like a gunja fall. Hmm. So gunja fall a pari brahmat. The thief mistook it for a gunja fall and thought that it's a useless piece of fruit. Why steal it? What is a gunja fall? Gunja fall is a berry, I suppose. Berry. It's a it's a berry, I suppose. The bear maybe. I'm not very sure. So gunja is another. Uh, it is a it is a kind of species uh, in the ancient times. Gunja is used for. It has made. Uh, it it is used in Ayurvedic uh, medicines. It is used. Oh. It was used for weighing the gold. Gold, gold. Oh yes. A red Now, and black. now then the king asks the minister who out of these two should you judge to be better or correct mm -hmm. both as a verse are pretty nice yes the minister says that the first poet may be a good poet but he is impractical because why the snake is thicker towards the head the tail is narrower <laughs> the beni would be on our head side and not on the nose side nose so the other uh, <coughs> poet who gave the analogy of the gunja fall should be judged as more appropriate more appropriate mm -hmm. yes. and as usual this poet has to be kalidas <laughs> <laughs> yes there are these myth mythological stories famous of kalidasa and i think uh, the situation given could be in verse form only i mean that could not be uh, the uh, the situation only the samasya might be in verse form originally from your from your descriptions i am getting this uh, uh, getting this uh, uh, a feel that this is this has to be a verse this has to be in a in a shloka form or the padya form i look for it but thank you very much it was a it was a wonderful um wonderful addition exercise. 
exercise it was a wonderful addition from your part i'm really happy and i'm i appreciate your efforts thank you dhanyawad and again uh, i'm really sorry for today's session i came late so uh, yeah let's meet on next saturday on scheduled time thank you very much adhika can i request something mm -hmm. there was lot of disturbance while we were listening could you tell okay, all I'll... the yeah next time please yeah okay yeah sure so as in uh, as in disturbance as in uh, from the other participants from videos no, and no, all no. it was a, just my... a back, background uh, background uh, uh, noise was there no, okay. i think some construction is going on you know dum 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 no, like that. that was uh, occasional but there was a constant uh, rubbing yeah. sound of uh, something or uh, something okay okay which uh, only is distracted yeah we heard that uh, construction only twice or thrice okay apart from that there was a continuous uh, disturbance okay probably, we'll get that probably one of the participants were, may also be responsible yes, yeah, yes, yeah 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 it is it is from the participants yes we'll take care of it next time thank you thank, thank you, you.